The other thing that we're going to do now is look at some basics about how to sell objects. That's the other kind of information that is on the, uh, on the general tab. Let's go ahead and close out of this for a second. Now, when you move your mouse over an object, you'll see a bunch of the information from the general tab in tooltip form. You'll see the name, you'll see the description if there is one, you'll see the price if there is one. Second Life has very robust tools for allowing you to sell objects. And they're also wired directly into the search. Let's go ahead and search for my house again. So in the search bar, I'll type OBR's house. Remember, this is how we got here in the first place. We search for OBR's house. Click there. Notice that not only do we get information about who owns it, which region it's in, the other thing that we'll see is a list of objects that are for sale. So one of the things that we can do with any object that we build is we can actually set it up so that someone can come along and buy it. So let's go ahead and right click and edit our lamp and we'll set it up so that people can come and buy a copy if they wish. It's actually quite easy to do this. All we really have to do is click the for sale button. Now we have some options. Almost always you're going to want, going to, want to stay with the default option which is to sell a copy. If someone comes along to buy this lamp, we don't want them taking our lamp away. We just want them to be able to purchase a copy. So we'll set the price. I'll set it to be one linden. And I'll say that I want them to be able to buy a copy. If you're selling clothing, sometimes you don't want to sell them the actual object. Maybe you only want to sell them the contents. Or if you're making a limited edition piece of art, perhaps you made exactly one and you're going to charge a lot of money for it then maybe you will sell the original and not keep a copy yourself. But typically, you'll want to sell a copy. And we'll close this. There are some other important things to think about when you're selling an item. Second Life has a permission system built in, which basically tell, says what the next owner of this object is allowed to do with it. You are the creator. You have all kinds of rights to your object that you created. And you get to define how an owner is allowed to use it later. And there are three types of permissions. Modify, copy, and resell. If you turn on the modify permission, then what it means is the next owner is going to be able to modify this lamp. Maybe they want to change the lamp shade to red. Maybe they need to reposition the upper part of the volumetric lighting. If you don't allow them to modify, they won't be able to do that. So typically, it's considered to be uh, good etiquette to sell objects with the modify permission turned on. The second permission is the copy permission. If I sell you a lamp, am I selling you a physical lamp, one copy of the lamp? Or am I selling you something digital, something virtual, where maybe you buy the lamp and then you can make, put 50 copies of it in your house if you wish. If you want to allow your customer to make many different copies of your lamp, you can turn on the copy permission. Typically what happens is if you sell a, an object no copy, then you sell it fairly inexpensively because maybe people will have to buy five or ten copies. If you sell it with the copy permission, then you can charge more. Oftentimes, people will charge five to ten times more if the copy permission is turned on. There is one little bugaboo here, which is the resell permission. Think about it for a second. If you got a CD and you're allowed to make a copy of it, and you're also allowed to resell that copy, that's bad news, right? Why would anyone ever buy it from you? Someone else will buy it and then resell copies. So typically, you either want to allow resell or copy, but not both. If you turn on the resell and turn off copy, then the person will be able to buy this lamp. They will have one copy of it. 
If they want to get rid of it, they can sell it to someone else. So it's sort of second hand. But once they sell it, they won't have any copies left. Okay, so the resell allows them to resell it. Copy allows them to copy it. Modify allows them to modify it. One interesting thing about this system. If you don't allow the user to copy it, you have to allow them to resell it. Notice what happens when I turn off copy permissions. The resell permissions turn on automatically. The reason for this is that objects in Second Life work in one of two ways. In this, uh, in this configuration, where copy permissions are turned on, it works like a piece of intellectual property. If I sell you a CD, you can make backup copies of it, you can put it on your iPod, you can put it on your computer, but you can't resell it. Okay? Intellectual property, the idea is that you're not allowed to resell any of those copies. On the other hand, if you're not going to allow people to make copies, then you have to allow them to resell it. That's equivalent to the doctrine of first sale in sort of the normal world. So, for example, if you buy a textbook, publishers cannot prevent you from selling that textbook to someone else. There is one physical copy, you are always allowed to resell it, and the publisher doesn't have the right to profit from that second sale. They only have the right to profit from the first sale. So it's always important to make sure that your copy permissions are what you expect them to be. For this particular object, what I'm actually going to do is actually turn on all the permissions. Because I don't really care about this object. I don't really care if anyone ever buys it. In fact, instead of making it for sale, I'm going to allow anyone to copy. So if anyone wants this lamp, they can come and take a copy for free. What will often happen is that people who run junkyards, so these sort of cut price stores, they'll go around looking for free objects like this and then resell them. So generally, uh, you just should be aware that if you make objects free to take, there are gonna be people that will take advantage of that. Okay, so now we've created an object, we've set it up, it's free to copy, we've given it a name, the last thing that we're going to do is take a copy for ourselves. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to the more option. And I'm going to take a copy. Now what this has done is it has made a copy of the lamp and placed it in my inventory. And there it is in the objects folder. Typically when you get a new item, a piece of clothing, an object, a note card, it'll automatically be filed into the correct folder in this case, my lamp is in my objects folder. Now, if I want to make lots of copies of it, I can just drag them out everywhere. Now you know how to make a lamp.